relationships that last. Reach out by emailing aanderson at ftupgrades.com or give us a call at 678-559-4497 to schedule your quote today. This is Adam Vanelli of the Columbus River Dragons, your home for River Dragons hockey in Noonan 99. The views and opinions of this show and program are not the views and opinions of this station, its management, or its clientele. It's scorching hot out there, friends. The best way to beat the heat is to stay hydrated. And Water Treat in Noonan has got you covered with their amazing antioxidant alkaline water. Swing by for quick and easy drive through pickup and check out their selection of health-boosting options. Stay cool, stay refreshed, stay healthy with Water Tree in Hank Newton. Arnold here from Cowie to Force. Cowie to Force is Newman's own addiction recovery support center. We exist to provide recovery support services for individuals and family members who have been impacted by addiction. Our services are no cost, and all of our information is available on our website at www.cowietaforce.org or Follow us on Facebook. Shopping for insurance doesn't have to be stressful. I'm Christy, owner of Ellsworth Insurance, located here in Newton, Georgia. We are an independent agency with access to multiple carriers for home, auto, life, health, and commercial insurance. We are your one-stop shop for your insurance needs. www.insurewithellsworth.com, 770-755-7053. We look forward to meeting you soon. Exciting times ahead for our graduates. Walking new campuses, meeting new friends, starting a new chapter in life. One of the biggest questions I get is how to prepare for staying safe while away from home. Hi, I'm Holly Reese, founder of Warrior Defenders Women's Self-Defense. It's crucial to start preparing for your safety now as you head off to college. Learn how to protect yourself today to have a safer tomorrow at warriordefenders.com. Good morning! Welcome to Empower Strike Back. I am your host, H.D. Reese, on WQEE The Key 99.1 FM today. And I want to thank our sponsors for the show, Water Tree of Noonan for your antioxidant alkaline water, Catwita Force, of course, because they do so much for the community here, and Ellsworth Insurance as well for all your insurance needs, and of course, Warrior Defenders. Check us out on WarriorDefenders.com. It's so excited to be here today. We're going to be talking about, like last week, our back to school bash with our music. And this week, we're going to be talking about anti bullying and school safety for our kids that are going back to school this week and some of y'all next week. And I want to tell you a little bit, my voice is a little scratchy today because I went to my first ever concert on Friday and we went to go see New Kids on the Block and it was absolutely fun and I lost my voice. I didn't have it for like three days, so it's slowly coming back, but it was a blast and I was only four rows away from one of the main singers, Donnie Wahlberg, and if you guys back in the 80s and 90s don't remember him, he was my man. I love him, and all the other guys did an amazing job, along with Paul Abdul and DJ Jazzy Jeff. I've never experienced something like that, and it was so much fun. And, of course, while I was there, I was people-watching the crowds and the environment and the kids and how people were interacting with themselves and some of them that were intoxicated and some of them that were not being safe and... I was also being able to see the people that were there for their designated DDs that were keeping them from falling down. Uh, so it was an experience on the safety side as well to see how the security handled the crowds, how Donnie Wahlberg's bodyguard kept him safe when he entered into the crowd and walked among the people along with all the other band members. Um, so from a self-defense standpoint and from a, a idea of safety in crowds, it was a great experience. And we've talked about safety in crowds on this show before. So you want to check out that past show or safety in crowds on Warrior Defenders YouTube channel as well. 
because that explains a lot of things that we talked about there and how so important it is to watch your drink, watch where you're going, watch the people around you, watch body language. But there was no security problems that I saw at that place except for some people were drinking a little bit too much and of course they were having fun like I was and I wasn't drinking y'all wasn't drinking so I wanted to enjoy the experience full force and it was so much fun to go with the girls and see everybody dressed in neon so um, when we go back to back to school and we talk about school safety (laughs) and you talk about what you did when you were kids it's a lot different than it was back then that it is today. Um, There's a lot more things we have to worry about for our children in school. And one of the biggest things that is, is so prominent now is bullying because not only is it in person, but it's on social media. So we have to teach our kids how to handle bullying and safety in all realms now. So when they're, when they're being affected by bullying, it's preventing them from learning because their mental state is being affected by what they're being told by their uh, fellow students and the support group that can be lacking. And unfortunately, we see a lot of children news stories where they have committed suicide because they were felt like they weren't being heard. There is a show on um, Netflix called 13 Reasons, and that's based on um, bullying and also peer pressure. And it's really hard to watch, but it's really true to fact on what happens. And also in that show, they talk about school shootings and how that sometimes, not always, but sometimes delves in from a bullied student who then doesn't know how to fight back. So when we're, when we're talking about this, we need to know that they have to have their resources. They have to know who to talk to. And your children need an open line of communication for you to be able to know what's going on in their lives. And I say this all the time. Watch their social media content. Let them know that if something's happening, you need to be told Because when they're on social media and somebody sends them a nasty message or somebody posts a video about them that wasn't appropriate, uh, that that's okay to come to the parent and say, this is what's happening to me. I don't know how to handle it. Teach them how to emotionally handle this because they don't know because they're they're easily influenced at that age. And in the teen years especially, if something's happening to them, they can carry that on into their adult life if they don't know how to handle it. And unfortunately, bullying doesn't stop when we're just teens either. So that's something that we need to have as a life skill to move forward. Is it good when people are bullied as an adult? No. Does it happen? Unfortunately, yes. But it happens in a different way. So keep that line of communication open with your kids because then they know my parent will not will not have my back they don't always can't do something about it not always but they will listen to me and we can talk about it and have a one-on-one so they're not holding all this information in that's being done um actually saw a movie last night that this one kid was um thinking he was getting into a crowd that would advance his career on a dirt bike uh bmx trial racer And they ended up taking a video of him, splicing it together, and making him look bad on the video and releasing it. And had thousands of views, and it just was destroying his mental state. So these things do happen. And then they'll also private message people. Like if they pick on him at school, back in the day when we got picked on at school, we could go home. We wouldn't have to deal with them, right? Because they didn't have our phone numbers, didn't know half the time where we lived and all that. And then, of course, now they can pick on you on social media. And then that causes severe depression for the person that is being bullied. So we have to teach our kids how to keep that social media safe, be on their social media, block those people that are being problematic, talk to the principals, talk to the the supervisors at school, superintendents. Make sure that you are teaching your children how to do de-escalation 
with a bully as well. When I teach the Girl Scouts especially, we have in our seminars at the end of the seminar, after we're doing the self-defense classes and we teach them how to defend themselves from the bad people who are trying to hurt them that aren't their fellow students, we have a discussion and a powwow about anti-bullying and how to de-escalate a situation with verbal de- um at verbal defense. So with a verbal defense, it's it's all about distracting the bully from coming at you. If they're saying something negative to you, turn around and get their mind off of what they're saying and start talking about them. So it's an exercise that we do, and it's very hard, but verbal de-escalation is one of the hardest things because it's mental. It's different than being physical. So with uh, physical, it's like, oh, I can handle this. But even in self-defense, it's all about your mindset. So if your mindset doesn't go into fear or start to cry, especially when we're younger, you can get emotional. If you keep your mindset calm, it's a good drill to do to be able to de-escalate the situation. So if somebody came up to you and said, you know, your hair looks awful, uh, what's wrong with you, you know, you're weird, or anything like this, especially as we were kids, and the person who's hearing this doesn't take it internally and realizes that bully is attacking them for another reason, and then can turn around and say, I love your hair. What do you use on it? I would love my hair to look like yours. Or where did you get your shoes? They look amazing. Um, I wish I could wear that outfit. That's not my color. Anything like that to just take them off of attacking you and turning it around to say, and then the bully would be like, oh, well, thank you. I use this product on my hair. I went shopping here. My mom took me there. Um, and you might actually be able to switch that whole conversation around to where nothing escalates into anything else. And then if that doesn't work, then you know that that bully has a personal thing against you. And that's when you have to be more concerned about your safety and your uh, offensive um, re- reactions to this or getting to a safe location where you can be near a teacher or the um, guards that are there at the schools and realize that maybe you need to have some of your friends around to help distract you and have a safety plan in place, especially if you're dealing with bullying in the teens and the high schools. Have a safety plan in place for one of your friends to say, oh, wait, so-and-so just called me. We need to go meet them somewhere and then walk away. And it's not a bad thing to walk away from a situation like that. It's not like you're being a coward. You're not the what they called back in the day the chicken to not fight. It's more strength to show to avoid a fight than it is to get involved in one. That shows more personal inner strength than being able to go out and defeat somebody. I know the new Cobra Kai show just dropped um, on Netflix, and I was a Karate Kid fan back in the day, and that was something that's always for. Karate is for defense only. And it is. It's not about seeking a fight. It's not about showing who's bigger than the other person. It's not about figuring this out. And this goes for girls and boys now. Because girls and boys both get into physical fights at school. We see them on the videos all the time. And those things are escalated by the crowds. They're escalated by the cell phones. They're escalated by the peer pressure to say, well, you're not going to take that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to get into a fight with somebody and feed into their antagonistic ways in a conversation. So we're not going to go and say, well, that bully's going to say this to me, and I'm going to come back and play the yo mama game and, you know, keep going with it. It's best to stop it right there in a verbal de-escalation to say, well, you're not going to say this about me, Uh uh-uh, and get all defensive. It's not going to happen. So we need to go ahead and turn turn that record around and say, I'm sorry you feel that way, thanks for your input, or what about your shoes, or I could use some help with this class if they're picking on your grades, but don't take it personal. 
and and that goes for college as well those those things happen up there too don't take anything somebody says personal because a lot of the times bullies are actually fighting something else in the background and they're passing whatever they're going through at home to you and if we realize this then in the back of our mind we can already be like okay this person has this going on i'm not gonna let him or her bring my life down to that level now when it comes to out of school try not to be around those people because that's that's gonna don't go to those parties where those people are that's gonna be off school property that's gonna make it worse have a new section of friends that you can hang out with that is trustworthy and that has your goals and their goals are similar where you have the right way that you want to live versus the way that the bully wants to live and and make sure that nobody says well you're doing only this well that's okay if you're doing only that if you if your thing to go out with your friends is go to the movies and have dinner and their thing of going out to the friends is going to concerts or hanging out at the lake and drinking underage and things like that let them do that that doesn't matter that's you do you you're responsible for your decisions in life and they're responsible for theirs and you don't need to intermingle those to make you look better in school now when you if you are walking home or you're out in public with your friends and things like that sometimes at a, a you will encounter people that are adults that are going to try to have an issue with you and we need to respect our elders but we also need to know how to defend ourselves when um, you see the missing children on the internet, sometimes they are lured away by adults online. That's another reason why we need to monitor our social media with our kids. But also, sometimes they try to lure you away in person. So the part of the classes that I teach has to do with abduction and um, how to get away from being taken in a parking lot. And how to learn to defend yourself when somebody comes up to you and what to say. So we go over, uh, you know, the creepy creepy van syndrome. And, you know, how we can get away from somebody blocking your exit. Uh, we actually put a, a blanket over the person's head and teach them how to fight. Because when something like that happens, if you haven't trained through the stress of being blinded like that or not having your mental state ready to fight with your warrior mindset your body will shut down in the freeze mode and it won't be able to fight back so when we do these abduction classes to teach children how to get away from bad guys who are trying to take them away with the blanket they can still fight they can learn they've trained and once they've trained then that what if, if it ever does happen and hopefully nothing I ever teach in class ever needs to be used in real life scenarios but once they've been trained they can then know what to do if that situation ever arises remember it's all about your mindset no matter what age it's about your mindset and going through drills like this can help teach you also it's a very very good idea for our young ones and even college age and us as adults to have a body alarm on you at all times this body alarm can be triggered and makes a loud noise and bad guys never want to be located with this people looking with this loud noise and you have to see which body alarm you like because you don't want one that sounds like a car alarm because nobody ever looks to see if anybody's breaking into cars they should but they don't so when you have this body alarm, you can have them teach them how to pull it. If somebody's approaching them at the bus stop, teach them how to pull it when they need help. If they're walking in a mall area or at the park or on the beach, they can pull it. And then people can look and say, what's that noise? And if you make a ruckus and you start yelling, screaming, kicking, and all of this stuff, they know it's serious. You're not just playing here. So um, on warriordefenders.com, you can check those out because we do have the body alarms available and even some of them have the Bluetooth tracker on there on Warrior Defenders website, uh, also on the YouTube channel. We have a app that you can download for free on your phone that sends a silent alarm to five people for free for your GPS location so that if you're in trouble, somebody can get that note saying, I'm here, I need help. 
and it's a silent alarm on your phone and it's for free but it can also connect to a fob that will connect to your phone so if your phone for example everybody wears the watch so if your phone is like in your purse you can't get to it you have that fob attached to you and you can hit that and it will set that off sub 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 quiet so they don't hear it and then it'll send your information to your friends and family who need to know where you are so that is a new product on there at warriordefenders.com so you need to check that out as well there's also the ones that you can just pull and i and i teach parents to have their kids have those on their backpacks especially if you have like a a bus stop where they walk to their home so if somebody tries to grab them they can grab the alarm leave the backpack grab the alarm off the backpack on a breakaway and run as that alarm is going off so people can see that they need help and and those are invaluable for our kids to have with them at all times even if they were to go into the bathroom in public and they have their body alarm on them if somebody messes with them in the bathroom and you don't you're not in there with them they can set that off and then you know that they need help in there um, there's actually a book on warriordefenders.com it's called Julian's Solo Journey and it talks about this uh, boy's journey into the bathroom and how somebody approached him it doesn't go into detail because written by a psychologist but they approached him and he knew how to set off his alarm so that his mom knew that he needed help in the bathroom so those things are on there as educational purchases per- educational purposes for our kids to be able to learn and there's 11 different books with 11 different scenarios uh, including gun safety for Damien's Dilemma where a child brought a gun to school when um, we're talking about firearms and drills in school um, the ones that have children have seen what they train the kids to do in the schools it's a scary thought When, when I went to school we didn't have firearms in school like that um we were allowed to carry uh knives and things to school back then and then the kids of course had their like hunting rifles in the back of their trucks in high school and it wasn't like a thing and now it's it's so prominent that we have these um school shootings and it's heartbreaking it really is and to watch them go through these drills in the schools on what to do and then doing drills at home before they go to school will help reinforce the actions that they're teaching them in school so teach your kids how to be safe from that as well on warriordefenders.com we also have the bulletproof shield an insert for the three ring binder and the backpack and there is ways to teach them how to protect their bodies it's for vital organs only and it is tested and approved and licensed uh, to be used for a bulletproof shield Uh, it's not a subject that I like to talk about very much but it is unfortunately a necessity to talk about Uh, if you have any questions about that please reach out to me because those need to be in their child the children's backpacks and the three ring binder is for college and high school as well because you know when you get to high school you're not always going to have a backpack on you want to be more stylish so you can put that in your three ring binder or the binder that holds your laptop or chromebook so there is so much to cover with these safety and anti-bullying i do teach these seminars out there um, f- customized seminars, private groups. Contact me at warriordefenders.com for more information on that. Stay tuned for my YouTube channel as well as TikTok because we're always sharing ways to keep our kids safe. And I want to thank you for joining me today on Empower Strike Back. I want to wish everybody that's going back to school and all your parents the best to have a safe, healthy, educational, and happy school year this year. And I always want to say, learn today to have a safer tomorrow. Be your own hero. We'll see you next time on WQEE The Key 99.1 FM on Empower Strike Back.